Welcome to another scriptural study. As always, place your computer screen on full screen to obtain the full view of what is being shared. And please feel free to stop the video when needed to fully read the scriptural passages being presented, along with the associated information. We have been asked to share how in the past 12 months of successfully filming the full moon as new moon, how the computer programs are being utilized to determine new moon days up to a year in advance. In our previous videos, you will notice we always have asked the audience to do this yourself by going outside to learn how to determine new moon day. Obviously, this cannot be accomplished for all 12 new moon days in advance by going outside right here and now. So in this scriptural study, we will attempt to share how anyone can number and or count the scriptural days for 2016 and 2017. We first heard about the three components of the calendar that hangs in the heavens around the 2005 time period and struggled immensely to learn it and more importantly apply it successfully. We studied in great depth the crescent moon and conjunction moon methodologies but never could successfully apply these two options on our own without the help and support of a human device and our computer program. And then we were introduced to an individual via email in 2008 by the name of Emmett Zeraya, which is his pen name. He wrote a book entitled, It's About Time, highlighting how all three components of the sun, moon with the stars, worked in perfect harmony to create a calendar that hangs in the heavens that no man can manipulate. And it worked with the full moon being the new moon. We have attached a PDF of this book and you can find it in the comments section of this YouTube video if anyone is interested in studying this material further. This is why we do not consider ourselves teachers, because not one of us have figured this out on our own like some regrettably claim. In sharing the information in full we have received tremendous feedback and as such further learning. And this is how we were introduced to Emmett, just like he learned the material from the scriptures and with others so many years ago himself. We do not charge and or accept any monetary donations for any of the articles and or YouTube videos, as many regrettably do, because we do not own this calendar that hangs in the heavens. It belongs to the Almighty Yahuwah, and as such we are not sharing any parts of the word for gain. And besides... It is the word that teaches us. The best we can do is pray for the scripture wisdom and then ask for the strength to follow it. So, on this very YouTube site, you will be able to find 12 other videos in which we were able to physically observe and thus film the full moon 12 months in a row as new moon during 2015 and 2016. And these 12 past videos explain why we have such a confident expectation of why the full moon is new moon. By sharing these videos and articles free of charge, many like us were motivated to go outside to look at the heavens on our own, to see the work of the Almighty Yahuwah's fingers, to actually see what He has set in place for us, let alone ponder the amazing mercy Yahuwah has for us when he created this master timepiece that contains and shares his good new message month after month and year after year. So let's begin with the end in mind. And this end would be, what do the scriptures say? And how can we number and count our days for the 2016 and 2017 time period as the first month of Yahuwah's calendar that hangs in the heavens is almost upon us? There are four scriptural witnesses. Let's go through each of the scriptural witnesses and plot the information on a linear monthly calendar chart for all 12 months. But first, let's share how to determine with the computer tools available that are for free to help us determine New Moon Day for the first month of the year. So here are the programs that we have utilized to date. And there are many more. So let's see how this works. So let's now number and account for the first month of the scriptural year with the data focusing on the first witness from the scriptures, which is the sun with this calendar that hangs in the heavens. One option is to utilize timedate.com to obtain the reliable movement of the heavenly luminary known as the sun with its impeccable preciseness with sunrises and sunsets as per our own locations of residence. 
Highlighted are the dates of the pagan month April for the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, as these are the dates that surround the full moon for the first month. And as we can see, on the new moon day worksheet for 2016 and 2017, we have numbered and are counted these sunrises and sunset time periods on the template. Again, we utilize sunrises and sunset time periods as we can witness these in the heavens when we go outside to actually see the work of the fingers of the almighty Yahuwah. So let's now number and or count for the first month of the scriptural year the data focusing on the second witness from the scriptures, which is the full moon phase with this calendar that hangs in the heavens. So again, utilizing the one option with timedate.com to obtain the reliable movement of the heavenly luminary known as the moon with its impeccable preciseness with moon rises and moon sets as per our own locations of residence. Highlighted are the dates of the pagan month April for the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd as these are the dates that surround the full moon. So again, as we can see on the new moon day worksheet for 2016 and 2017, we have numbered and counted these moon rises and moon set time periods on the template. Again, we utilize moon rises and moon set time periods as we can witness these in the heavens when we go outside to actually see the work of the fingers of the Almighty Yahuwah. And for a point of clarification before we continue, we do not utilize the meridian and or international dateline as some do as we cannot see personally this particular moon phase cross, this imaginary line designed by the world for its calendar systems that hang on a wall. In our test in 2015 and 2016, as shared, we wanted to only witness what could be seen from the Father of Lights. And for the precise readings on the percent illumination of the moon during moon rises and moon set time periods, anyone can utilize these programs, as we have shared in previous videos. And yes, there are more. And as shared previously, we utilize the world's last chance website for capturing the percent illumination of the moon. Why might you ask, even though this group promotes conjunction moon as new moon? Because there are some advantages with this computer platform, allow us to explain. On this particular website, you will find that they have an excellent feature where you can toggle by minute the phase of the moon for the full 24 hour time period for any day of the year. In fact, the program platform provides the moon rise and moon set times as well. The platform as well provides the sunrise and sunset times too, making it far easier to number and or count to new moon day rather than going from computer program to computer program to get the same information as this platform has everything on one screen, let alone having a few other user-friendly features. Keep in mind though, some of their times are off by one minute as compared to the timedate.com site or vice versa, depending on which way you look at it. We are in the process of learning why on the one minute time difference. But as always, when we do this method with computers, it is just a preparation step for ourselves in advance. The real work happens outside in creation when we visibly go and look just like they did when they sojourned in the desert for 40 years. Because Moshe, Moses, had no need for all of this computer platform stuff. He was a master at knowing how to number and count his days with the calendar that hangs in the heavens, far better than we know today. So let us now number and or count for the first month of the scriptural year, the data focusing on the third witness from the scriptures, which is the stars, with this calendar that hangs in the heavens, which no man can manipulate. And as per our previous videos, the third witness as per the scriptures lets us know the stars help to confirm the seasons in which the full moon as new moon highlights, as we can very well see in the Stellarium computer program visual. And the first month is always in season in the spring. And as we can clearly see is when the full moon is in proximity to two stars known as Spica today being the first, but known as the branch and or seed in ancient times. The other star at the foot of the woman is called Riji al Awa, which defined in English means the foot of the preacher. Isn't that amazing that this astronomical celestial event of lights happens the same year after year? 
Even more amazing is, in a 13th month year, the full moon is in proximity to two stars named Beautiful Yahuwah, and at the shoulder of the woman, the star named Yahuwah answered. After all, did not the scriptures share with us that Yahuwah named all the stars individually? Here is the downside, though. There is no reference to Bethula and or Virgo in the scriptures for the first month of the year. And furthermore, the original star names under Maseroth and her constellations were actually tampered with by evil men all through ancient times. So one must tread very cautiously with the third witness because it is the most difficult one to see, both physically, because of the cities with their light pollution, which can block out the individual starlights, and secondly, the incredible amount of work one must do to uncover the original names of the stars that Yahuwah himself labeled. So, why is this third witness so important, and why must it not be discounted? Because as per the scripture, night after night reveals knowledge, and that knowledge is in the name of the stars as labeled by Yahuwah himself. The woman, although, is definitely referred to in the book of Revelation chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And as you can see, there are many, many websites highlighting significant events on the pagan day of September 23rd, 2017. We won't go into all of these items, and we've shared some of it, but as you can see, this event happens in the fall, not in the spring. So, Bethula is not known as Virgo in the scriptures, and Bethula is not named outright. Bethula is a man-made name. No one argues that there are 12 star clusters in the heavens, and no one argues that man has indeed corrupted the original names of these stars and as well the original names of some of these star clusters. Bottom line though is that the third witness is definitely difficult to see as previously mentioned, but we must further pursue this third witness as mentioned in the book of Bereshith or Genesis chapter 1 verses 14 through 18. Because this indeed helps make up this perfect timepiece of lights that hangs in the heavens. We still do not believe that this third witness is coincidental, in which the good news message reveals that we would indeed receive a Messiah as defined by the star clusters in the spring. And the final and twelfth star cluster, and her Maseroth, which today is known as Leo, represents the good news message of the Messiah coming back as King of Kings and Masters of Masters, the line of Yehuda. Hallelujah! This is why we are not teachers. This is proof that there is so much more to learn, and this is where in previous articles and videos we have asked for help and support researching this material further. And we are indeed thankful to date for the support with the sharing of information with the third witness. Bottom line, the sun, moon with the stars we can see in perfect harmony year after year, and in this case, New Moon Day, as the full moon announces, with the sun being in the star cluster of the Lamb, shining the light 180 degrees towards the star cluster, and the two stars, one speak or the branch or the seed, and then the preacher at the foot of that star cluster, we believe announces the first day of the first month, which is the pagan day of April 22nd, 2016. So the intent of this study was to highlight how the computer programs make us aware in advance that uh, the full moon in the first month of Yahuwah, with his calendar that hangs in the heavens, and that the full moon will be 100% illuminated starting from 1943 hours or 743 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, in our vicinity anyways, on the pagan day of April 21st, and will remain 100% illuminated until 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, on New Moon Day, which is the pagan day of April 22nd. Again, the worksheets capture my vicinity. You would have to plug in your vicinity for the details. So as we can see, this is how the three witnesses, being the sun, moon, with the stars, can be numbered and are counted in advance utilizing these computer platforms. But again, you can go outside 
month after month and see these new moon phases and number or count your days to understand when new moon day will be. We will provide a separate study on Abib, sharing why other calendar systems we believe bring in Abib far too early. Today, people wait for a helicopter fly to fly over a field to find out when Abib has ripened, or someone waits for an email or a phone call. Well, think about this. Moshe or Moses was sojourning in the desert for 40 years. He didn't wait for a phone call or a helicopter to tell him when Abib was ripened. So this is just common sense. Uh, there'll be more to follow on this. And there's some great material in regards to proving why all of the other calendars bring in Abib far too early. So continuing, the process repeats itself and is done or duplicated for the rest of the months remaining in the 2016 and 2017 time period. So as you can see, we have everything completed for the whole year. Here's the first six months of the calendar of Yahuwah that hangs in the heavens. As always, feel free to critique the information. And here is the second six months. So many have requested these templates, but we wanted folks to be able to do this methodology themselves first and foremost. But as always, we will share free of charge all of these Excel templates. Just email us at the email address above and we will gladly send. And for those that are aware and follow this site, uh, we take this information uh, each month and place in an Excel template with a linear monthly view providing the 365 day annual solar count, the 354 day lunar count, along with the feasts with their numbered counts by month. We do this for two reasons. First of all, every website to date attempts to squeeze in their calendars into the pagan Gregorian format consciously and or unconsciously. Once again though, promoting the Babylonian pagan Gregorian false seven-day weekly cycle when there is no need to do this. And here is why. Do we not want to promote how to visualize the moon phases for each day of every month? Rather than the false seven-day weekly cycle? So let's give the Babylonian pagan Gregorian view the rest that it sorely needs and squeeze this view into the monthly linear view that only the full moon as new moon can provide visually month after month. So for those that have requested these Excel templates, please just request through this email address as we have no desire in creating another website due to the cost, let alone risks and challenges that come with it. YouTube seems to suit the needs presently and it is interactive, allowing the viewer to comment publicly and or privately. Again, these Excel templates are for you to go and test and prove all things in creation yourselves and in this way uh, then can provide learning for others as we all journey with the intent to further worship in spirit and truth. So again, we do not consider ourselves teachers as per the word and this is why we create provide tools as students of the word and continue to enjoy the feedback received of course if the feedback is non-scriptural and cannot be proven then of course this is not what we value and as such why we do not request and or accept any type of donations and or the latest fleecing of the flock scam called love ties as students of the word, we are still learning and more importantly, applying the set apart way in our lives. We still have a long way to go to get it right in full. Our goal is to share freely what has been given to us freely, to further gain knowledge with the intent to further worship in spirit and truth. So as always, we hope and pray these scriptural studies provide value to you and your loved ones. Until next time, you who are willing, all the best in the name which is above all names.